Hi, I'm Mike Massimino. We've been following along with the astronauts who are going to fly the next shuttle mission to the International Space Station. What you are about to see is the crew practicing for their mission, the team that is responsible for training them, and get a sense of what it's like to fly the shuttle. This is STS-131 behind the scenes. Matt, you came you came and picked me up here. Yep. Because I can't be trusted down here by myself. Cold winter day, didn't want you to get lost in the snow drifts. Yes, but that's <laughs> uh, yeah, down here in Florida. But it is pretty cold that most in Houston it was freezing. I heard that. It's a lot warmer here than it was in Houston. Yeah, yeah. Here in Florida. Well they've plowed the roads here so we can get over to the OPF in uh, time. Excellent. You know, so and a lot of salt and sand on the road, but we can still get there and... Uh... All right, and you said OPF, because that's where we're going, but that that's stands right. for Orbiter Processing Facility. You got it. That's the uh, the garage for the space shuttle, Yep. right? We got three garages and three shuttles, and that's where All right. we work on them. That's where 90% of the work of the shuttle is done. Okay, and here we are. This is the vehicle assembly building. Space shuttle will then be taken into here, and get on a gigantic train and stacked with its rockets, right, in this big building. We roll it over. Yeah. On, on a transporter and okay. we'll pick it up with cranes and we'll attach it to right now the MLP which is the mobile launch platform and okay. two SRBs and one tank will be sitting there waiting for it they'll pick it up and they'll attach it to that SRBs are the rocket send to white rockets on the yep. outside yeah yep. and it'll be in there for seven days and then they'll roll it to the pad all right and then they'll launch it and there's the vehicle it rolls over on right there that yellow piece right there see the yellow thing straight ahead oh straight ahead okay that, yeah. so you roll Let's the orbiter goes on top of there. The orbiter goes on top of there. And right. that's how we roll it over to the OPF. Uh, to, the to, the, to, the, to the vehicle assembly building. Yeah. From where we are now, the vehicle assembly right. building. That's how right. we get it over there. We used to okay. take it over on its wheels, but then you have the potential to pick up some... That's all you need. Some glass yeah, or something on the tires. tires. Yeah, no, no we don't want any no damage good. to the tires, so right. we want to be able to check them last in here. Right. And then that'll be it. Excellent. And this is where we're going. This is the orbital processing facility here. Yep. They're number three. Is that with space shells behind those doors? Right behind So a real spaceship. You can see the notch right up there. With there's the, the notch for the for the tail. Yeah. Right there. It was like an afterthought. Like, oh. Oh, how are we going to get it out? <laughs> <laughs> how are we going to get it in? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, what do you got? What's on your list of things that you got Just in front of you today, there? we're going to go do the bucket ride in the payload bay. and then Check out everything. Check out everything. Yeah. And then I guess we all head over to the space uh, station gonna, processing facility. Right. We uh, do some work inside the MPLM. Right. Stephanie and Naoko are going to do a lot of work. MPLM is like the big yeah. closet kind of thing, yeah, right? Yeah, big uh, cargo container. All right. All right. And what's the name of this one? Is it, <laughs> no, is it one of the, don't they have Italian names uh, or something? What's the name of our MPLM? Oh, Leonardo. What, Leonardo. 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 All right, it's got the Italian name because because uh, your last name is Mastracchio. Yeah, is I that right? No, 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 but it's named after the, because Italy makes these things, yes, apparently. Yes, made in Italy. All right, so, and you're going to see that later. Yep, we're going over there in a couple hours. Excellent. All right. Stranger. You're keeping them loose here, Dex. This is a very loose, this is a very, this is a very happy crew. It is, it is. We have a good you time. Should, you guys, I hope you appreciate, you know, you guys should, I'm sure Stephanie does. You've been on other crews that probably were stinky compared to this one. Oh, no, all no. Are good. this is a very Stephanie's are good. a very fun She's, crew. Uh, she, she keeps us all in line. All right. Well, thanks, I man. Thanks best. for lunch. It's very thanks for lunch. Job. See you, Mike. All right. And where, where do you want me to go with these guys? You gotta follow them to the OPS. I'm gonna follow them. All right, they're already gone. All right. We'll catch you guys later. See thanks, you man. All right, man. So we're gonna try to get inside the space shuttle now. Yeah. And if we're gonna go, we do that. We need. Here's a logistics guy, and uh, here, they keep all. Here. Look all that stuff. Here. What do they got back here? But little of everything. All oh, the support equipment. Oh, what do we need? You got oxygen back here? Absolutely. So you got everything. He's got everything. But today we're looking for some bunny suits. Two bunny suits to fit. We two big boys. Two what, big what's boys. your name, sir? Kevin D. As in David Edwards. All right. And what sizes are we screaming here? Probably big. Whatever you got, the biggest you got. Well, not big, big. You're coming with me, aren't you? Right. You can't I'm, let me I'm, alone I'm, in there alone. You never know what might happen. I'm going with you. All right. I'm with you all the way. All right. And thanks for trying to work that pastrami sandwich. We're going to get it yet, right. still. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are getting ready to fly in the space show. Are you worried about my pastrami sandwich? I think we'll go good. Yes, that'll be good. You got any, you got a, any different colors? Is that the only color we got? Well, uh, sometimes. No, blue. I'm joking. Sometimes Green is blue. perfect. I'm just trying sometimes to be a nuisance. Blue. 
boots. All right. And they wear blue all the time. Give them a different color. <laughs> So this is this is like the space shuttle wardrobe closet here. Exactly. That's what we got. I am your personal tailor. All right. So we can't see it in a, uh, a different color, maybe like red or pink. No, 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 no. We're good with the green. <laughs> I like Double the green. lapel, possibly. You know, maybe. You think so? <laughs> Double lapel. Now you're getting fancy. <laughs> Put them at night on. All right. Look, there's the crew down there. Big chewy. Well, first of all, they do look like Askin. That's you guys, Donnie. Look, there you are. I know. You're right there. But look at these two guys. Oh, now old that picture is? That's Mastracchio's high school picture, I think. Look at that thing. Rick, I didn't know you were I didn't know you were an astronaut when you were 17. Look at that. Yeah, I know. They figured they, had, they, they didn't realize they had two Italians in the program. They get us mixed up. Anything we'll see inside. Between so many people. Oh, here we are at the nose of the space shuttle. That's the nose of the space shuttle. You can see some windows behind the structure there. So what do we got? Is window shade bags? That's it. They're gonna go through that. They make sure you know they. What they're gonna put in there? Exactly. It's all built up for them. So now they get to go through it and verify everything's where they expect it to be. Right. And everything looks like what they expect it to look like. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That goes on your side. So it's not just window shades. Now shades they have window shades they have. Correct. When but you go to bed at night, right? You don't want to. You know, every time you go around the earth, every ninety minutes. Yeah, every ninety minutes you're gonna have a lot of sun. Very bright. It's gonna sun, keep you awake. Sunrise, sunset. So you, put a, so you put in the shades. But they also store other stuff in there too, don't they? The platforms. Oh, you have some IFM. The pastrami sandwich. I wish so. No, can, no. You, if you I ask for one, we can put one there. But you're saying they've got some IFM, which is in flight yeah. maintenance. Stuff. Got some hoses here. All right. So Clay and Rick are the spacewalkers, right? Dottie, you're the IV person? And is, is Jim helping with suit up, or is he an IV person too? So Jim's going to suit him up, and you're going to tell him what to do. All right. Did they listen to you? Yes. Really? Of course. James, can I get a new hood? This is it. Look at that. Those are all the tiles. See, nothing but tiles. Right. 25,000 tiles, all different shapes and sizes. 25,000. And protect the vehicle on re-entry. And you can see all the discoloration. You can see most of the, a lot of these tiles have been here since day one. Really? But if there are any damage, right. you replace them. As you can kind of see, if you can zoom in on there, you see the black the, the ones. The black ones, yeah. The dark black ones are the newer ones. Been repaired. Yeah, right. And, uh, and as a side note, that little round circle there, uh, one of the things we have to do before Which we roll one? out. Which one? On any one of on them. On any one of them, the little circle, yes. Yeah. We have to waterproof each tile. Uh-huh. Each tile because these are nothing more than ceramic sponges. All right. And these will drink twice their weight in water. All right. And we can't go ahead and, A, if you take it to the pad and it rains, we'll drink that much water. And then obviously it's a whole lot heavier. And then even worse, when you get up there, that ice expands and this whole thing would crack. Okay. So we fill it with a waterproofing, which is kind of like a Scotch guard and it keeps it waterproof so it doesn't absorb any of that water. So each one of these tiles has to be individually waterproof prior to rolling out. <laughs> Big okay. job. Yeah. So, so this is the crew cabin. This is the crew module, okay. and we make sure we protect the windows. All the windows are under these hard covers. Right. That in case something does happen, we protect those. Those are very time consuming to replace the windows. So we keep them protected at all times. Yeah, we got overhead windows as well. Right sure there in the top. But these are the front-looking windows where the right. pilot and commander look out six of. Six windows up front, two on top, and two in the back looking into the payload deck. Okay. Real spaceship. Oh, I think this is the right orbiter. Make sure. When you get out there, make sure on launch day, too. <laughs> I think, make, make sure, sure you got the right one. Make sure it says Discovery on it. Right, because they all kind of look the same. They do. You don't, want to get, you don't want to go to the wrong one. We want to make sure we go to the correct Because table. they're putting your stuff inside of this one. Right. And you want your stuff. I want my shirts, not some You want your shirts, shirts and area, all your food. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to have to wear, who's after you? It's Ken Ham. Ken Ham. I want to wear You don't want stuff. to wear his stuff. It yeah. probably, you know, may not be as nice as what you picked up. You, you probably spent a few hours inside of one of those. I did, mainly looking out the window. I try not to touch anything <laughs> well, when I'm in there. But uh, there's all this little pilot stuff. But you spent as much, almost as much time outside 
as you did inside. We spent a lot of time outside. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. wanted me out as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Yes, and I, I like yeah. staying go out there. Go outside and play, like your mom would like, always say. They like it. It, it like frees up mother, a lot of room. It's like your yeah, exactly. Get out of. Go outside and play. <laughs> get out of the house. house. You're bothering me. Yeah, You're driving out. me crazy. Get out of the house. Go right. outside and play. That's, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. And right. being an Italian kid, my mom used to chase me with like a wooden spoon to go outside. Whack, whack, whack. You know, yeah. Right. Yeah, they just, you know, there was no wooden spoons. Right. So anyway, it's. Anyway, and then there's two windows up on top. Also, right. there's, there's two windows. So everything's covered. It's kind of yeah, hard to imagine what it looks like. Yeah. But uh, they'll, uh, when they when they get ready to really neat operation, when they get ready to take the ship out of the uh, orbiter processing facility where mm -hmm. we are now, all these platforms pull back and uh, they, they slide out of the way and then they close the payload bay doors and then they uh, they pull the orbiter out right out mm -hmm. through the doors there. It's gonna go, so it's going to pull right out this way. Uh, maybe not. Maybe the not other, this the way. Other, the other way. The other side. They're going to put it the other way. The other All right, side. the other They're door. Back okay. it out. We're going to back it out. Back it out through the door. I put it in reverse. They do. They put right. it. But it's the not, carrier. It's not on the wheels. It's not yeah. it's on the wheels. They got it on a carrier. Yeah, they got it. Yeah. It's a like, real long centipede looking carrier thing. Mm -hmm. They put the orbiter down on that and they slide it out. And then they take it over to the vertical assembly building where they'll pitch it up into the vertical. Mm -hmm. And then uh, made it to the external tank in our uh, solid rocket booster. Right. That takes about a week. Okay. And then they roll that whole sink, that whole assembly out to the pad, all as one in the mm -hmm. vertical. And that is the launch pad that it gets put on in the vert in the vehicle right. assembly building. Right. That's, That's its a mobile launcher platform. Right. And that thing sits on top of a great big crawler, and that crawler drives it out to the pad at uh, like about a mile per hour, or two miles per hour, really right. slow. Yeah, yeah. It takes forever. It crawls. It does. It takes yeah. forever. You wake up in the morning and they start moving, it, and by the time you go to bed, they might have it out there at the pad. Okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. What else you want to show us? That's it. That's all. Okay.